Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. There's a very um, fashionable thing to do these days, and that's meditation. You'll see books and books on meditation on the bookshelves of your library or your bookshop. <clears throat> a number of people, celebrities I suppose we'd call them, um, advocate the benefits of meditation. As though it's something new that's been found out and found to do in this day and age. Of course, meditation is age old. And it comes in lots of different forms from lots of different origins. The act of meditation is one thing, but meditating itself is only really significant and important when you consider upon whom or what you are med meditating. If your meditation takes the form of emptying your mind and doing nothing, well, so-so, isn't it? Why not empty your mind and fill it with good stuff? So meditating on good things, thinking about, dwelling on, spending time considering, which is what meditation is, good things in life will do a lot more benefit than considering nothing. Of course, sometimes you might need to start by thinking about nothing to give yourself space to wind down and tune out of your current way of life, the current things you're considering, to give you that space to think on something else. Now, Christian meditation is as old as any other form of meditation, as old as the hills, as they might say. Verse, um, the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verses 15 to 16. The psalmist says, as he's calling out to God, I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. So here, the person, the psalmist, is meditating on something particular. He starts off by saying, I meditate on your precepts. That is, the very things that, that God is and declares to us. His state of, of who he is and what life is all about. His precepts, his commandments to us, in, we might see in the Ten Commandments. And his explanation of who life is that we read right throughout the Old Testament and on into the New. I meditate, I think on, and I dwell on those things. Not a bad habit to spend some time each day or every now and then saying the Ten Commandments to ourselves, reminding us about our relationship with God our Father. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. So that would take some time in your meditation, won't it? What is God saying about this situation? What is my relationship with God today? I delight in your decrees. That is the things he passes on down to us and says, this is how you should live your life. This is how life needs to be lived. These are the things you need to consider. Love your neighbour. Be compassionate and kind to one another. Turn the other cheek. The decrees pass down to us through the ages. And he finally, look, so the last part of that second verse is, I will not neglect your word. The word of God has given to us in the Bible, recorded, written down and printed out for us all to see. I will not neglect your word, that is your voice and the way that you wish us to live. I will not neglect these things. I will dwell on them and consider them. You put all that package together. That's an awful lot to meditate on. That's why you need a good bit of time to do it. You'd be surprised how quickly an hour can fly past when you're meditating on God on your relationship with Jesus and on his word to us. Have a crack at it today. You've got time, you're on lockdown. Have a go at meditating and dwelling on the word of God. Take care, see you soon.